YouTube, what's up? It's me, Dory1017. So I just did my wash and go. Well, let me not say wash and go. I'm going to say wet and go because I just sprayed my hair with water. And um, then I applied the my oil. I applied actually this um, Reconstructive Finishing Elixir. Is that what it's called? From Shea Moisture. This is a great oil. Um, it's awesome. It makes the hair feel smooth and makes it shiny and everything. Um, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Um, then I used my, hold on, where is it, where is it, where is it, I used my Aunt Jackie's Curl -a -la after that, and then I used the Shea Moisture Coconut and, and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk after that on top of that. So, um, I'm waiting on my hair to dry, um, it looks like it's going to be another wash and fro. As you all know, wash and goes never worked for me. I think this will be my last, very, very last attempt at a wash and go because me and wash and goes never, we never got along. When I had a TWA, it was okay. It was okay. But as my hair grew, uh, not so much. So um, I did post a link to Holly Tierra's video um, in my last video. I'm going to, I'm probably going to repost the link this time um, for you all. So, um, I'll let your girl and um, let me know what you think. I honestly, right now, I don't like it, but uh, Holly Tierra's hair is so luscious and beautiful, and her wash and go was gorgeous using this method. So instead of gel, again, I wanted to use another alternative, and I decided to do it her way because this is like the best wash and go I've ever seen ever. Well, I've seen other good ones, but hers was so beautiful, especially considering the fact that she didn't use gel. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it was beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's about it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and post this video, and I'm going to go work out. Um, yeah, so, um, and as far as my weight loss, my weight has been fluctuating. I'm still in the 170s. Last time I checked, I was at 178. So um, I'm trying to get down to 160. So my goal is to get down to 160. So now I want to lose 18 more pounds. Oh, excuse me, y'all got through eating ill gross um but yeah so we'll see we shall see and i did go down um two cup sizes in my bra so um yeah that is awesome um actually yeah three cup sizes i went down so that's pretty good i'm doing my chest press and everything at the gym and you know it's working out pretty well so i had to size down on my bras and it was like short a short amount of time in between the time that I had to size down, so it was happening pretty quickly. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. But, of course, after I have the baby, I might as well go back to my original cup because my boobs are going to be huge. Because um, <laughs> they were huge last time when I was pregnant. So I already know what's going to happen. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. I will come back at you guys when it dries up. Um, let me show you the back. Let me show you the 360. The back is kind of dried up a little bit. Um, yeah, and that is the style. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces.